Welcome to our video event tutorials on HTML table. HTML table, the HTML table allows you to arrange data like text, images, link, other table, etc. into rows and columns of a cell. So table can be arranged in rows and columns. Table display information in rows and columns. They are commonly used to display all manner of data that fit in a grid such as train schedules, financial reports, television listing, and sport results. In this video tutorial, you will learn when to use table and the markup that you need to create them. In order to work with table, you need to start thinking in grid. To begin, we, look, we will look at some examples of table, then quickly move on to the basic elements that are used to create them. Having learned the basic, you can then go on to learn some of the more advanced features of table, such as adding captions and headings, and how to achieve more complicated table layouts. In, in, in trying to, to add a table in HTML tag, there are some tasks that you need to add them so that your table will be created. And first of all, we have a table tag. Tables are defined with the table tag. And tables are divided into table rows with the table row tag. Tables row can be divided into table data with the table data tag. A table row can also be divided into table headings with the head table heading tag. A caption can be added to a table with the caption tag. So a table are drawn in rows and columns. This is how a table are arranged in HTML. They are arranged in rows and in columns. Let's create a simple example of a HTML table. So to see to, to so that we can see how tables are arranged in HTML. First of all, we have to start with our HTML tag to signify a HTML document. Then the header with the table with the title creating a table in HTML. Then I close my header tag. Then I open the body tag. The inside body tag there is a border tag. There is a table. That is a table tag with a border one. So, which means the border will be a very tiny one, but there might there might there will be a border. So you can try to add the numbers or to add that two or three to see how it will look like. But that one is, is depend on you. So I have the table row with the table data with table row one, column one, and row one, column two. Then I close the table row. I open another table row and use table data to row two, column one, and row two, column two. Then I close my table row, I close the table tab, I close the body tab, and close the HTML tab. So if you run this code, this is what is going to appear in your browser. So this is the outcome of the code that you run. So let's move on to creating a table with table heading. So I want to add another one so that we'll create a table with a heading. So I have as usual my head TML document, my head, the head, the, and the title is table in HTML. Then I close my headings, open the body tag, then the table with the other border, one. Then table row is heading one and table heading header two. I close the table row, open another table row with table data, row one, column one and row 1, column 2. I close the, ta the tag, open another tag with table data, row 2, column 1. Table row 2, column 2. I close my table row, close the table tag, close the border body and the HTML. So if you run this code, this is what will be the outcome with the heading, header 1 and header 2. This is how you run it in your browser you are going to see the outcome. Let's move on now to spanning. Spanning means 
to match or multiple cells or column into one. Use, we use rows, row span to span multiple rows and call span to span multiple columns. So in this example, this is how I want to use the spanning to be able to match some cells together. I have, as usual, the HTML document, that's the header tag, do the head, the HTML document, the header, the title, that is table in HTML, then I close my header, border, body tag, then table tag, the table row, and the table row contains a table header with column one, another table header column two, and another table header column three. Then I close the table row, open another table row, we call them data, call span. The call span should be two. That is to match two cells together, containing row one, column one, table data, row one, column two, then row one, column three. Then I close my table row. Then I open another table row with column data, row two, column two, row two, column three. I close it, then I open another table row. With this time, the table data will be called span three. Then I want to match three rows, three columns into one. That is row three, column one. Then I close the table data and close the table row. I close the table tag, close the body tag, and the HTML tag. So if you run this tag, this code in the browser, this is how it will be the outcome. You can see I have my two row one column one as much two columns together that is a much two rows then i have much two columns two at the row three column one so it is a good practice for a programmer or somebody that is learning code to be able to practice them to do it by yourself after watching this videos how to insert table now try it yourself and see how will be the outcome of your table you can customize it the way you want thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel at abila.youtube.com so don't give up and don't just continue to go follow my youtube channel and continue to view my videos and ibrahim habila thank you and continue to watch my video